What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I'm really excited because I am at the Sacramento Antique Fair. It's basically like an outdoor flea market antique fair. I've been one other time with my friend Natasha a few months ago, but we were just kind of enjoying ourselves and having fun together. So I didn't get to like really deep dive into all the booths here. So I wanted to come today. This does happen once a month in Sacramento area. It's every second Sunday, I'm pretty sure. So there's tons of booths here. We're gonna go check out some fun antiques, hopefully find something fun and cute. I'm not really looking for anything specific. I just wanna kinda like check it out and have a fun day to myself. And yeah, let's go. Kinda starts right here and goes all the way over. So I'm just gonna go row by row, I think. First off, I checked out this clothing rack. This was all brand new Street Vibrations Reno, Nevada, which is a motorcycle festival or like event that they do yearly. And you guys know I always love those kind of like Harley looking graphics. So I thought these were really cool. And I actually regret not picking one of these up because he had a lot of really cool ones. And then this booth was also right next door to that last guy. And he just had a lot of really cool vintage pieces, mostly men's pieces. But you guys know I love men's wear and wear a lot of men clothing in the wintertime. So here's a few really cool like thick flannel jackets. He also had a lot of like army jackets and denim. And I was also shopping for Everett, so I spotted these really cool vintage trucker hats. Everett loves a trucker hat, so I thought that these were pretty funny. I didn't ask any of the prices on these ones because I know that these booths, they tend to really vary in pricing. But Everett ended up really liking that Budweiser one, and I didn't realize it, and I didn't end up purchasing it for him. But he had some really awesome, cool trucker hats that were all vintage. I saw these cool, older-looking set of suitcases that were all like plaid. Someone had a ton of turquoise and I thought that those Thunderbirds were beautiful, but a whole booth of turquoise. And then here are some little fun random housewares. I wish Everett was with me because this is the kind of stuff he likes. Look at that old like go-kart car. I thought that was so funny. And then I also saw this really old slot machine, which was pretty cute in really good condition. They have a ton of booths that have these beautiful weaved baskets. I usually end up thrifting these, so I don't normally like to splurge on stuff like this when I am at the antique fairs, but really beautiful stuff, gorgeous tapestries, blankets. But you guys know me, I'm always drawn to the clothing and I like unique things. So this one was funny. It was a girl water skiing. And I also found this really cute Betty Boop on a motorcycle. I would have purchased this one and it was at one of the more affordable booths, but unfortunately I hated the back. Someone had like written all this stuff on the back and I didn't love what it said on the back. So I ended up leaving that behind sadly. But there's always really fun and funky, unique pieces at flea markets and antique shops like these. I found this booth which had a bunch of leather bags and satchels. There was a Harley Davidson one which I thought was pretty cool. But I have so many bags, didn't need it, but I thought I'd show you guys. And then here's some more hats. Like I said, I was looking for a cool hat for Everett, but didn't find anything I felt like he absolutely would love. So I ended up just showing you guys what the selection was. This next one right here is not vintage, but I loved the graphic and I feel like Everett would have actually liked the graphic of that one, but it was pretty dirty. So I saw this cute little, little kids mini shopping cart. It was adorable. And here's just kind of like what the booth looks like as you walk down this different rows. Some are selling clothing, other people are selling housewares, all sorts of fun stuff. You guys know me and I always love to look for some Levi's and just cute vintage pieces. I was really drawn to this really pretty Penny Lane jacket. It was beautiful. Look at the beading on this thing. And that definitely is some sort of real fur. Gorgeous piece. I'm sure it was very expensive. <laughs> And this is a cool little like tapestry bag. I thought that was really interesting. So I'm just enjoying the sunny weather. It was actually really hot that day. I think it was like 92 degrees. So I was just enjoying the last bit of summer before we start getting some cooler fall weather. But I do think I wanna go for the next show, which is in October. And I will be dragging Everett with me next time. 
lots of old vintage um, Persian rugs, which I have been looking for one and I haven't been able to thrift a nice one. So maybe one day I'll end up grabbing one of the ones at the antique fair. And then this was by far my favorite booth. It was all vintage and this booth was extremely curated. I don't know if you guys can tell and I couldn't show you guys much of what was on this rack because it was hard to film, but everything on there was superb. Lots of menswear, but it was all just really good condition, super cool, unique finds. Um, and it was very pricey. I did end up getting the Instagram, so I'll insert the name of the Instagram here but absolutely beautiful curation on that booth. Here are some cute little beaded bags. You guys know I always like to look for these in the thrift store, so I was just admiring this beautiful brown one that had fun little tassels at the bottom, and I also thought that this one was a pretty like fall kind of colors for beaded bags, but left it behind. I'm trying to be really particular. <laughs> This bag on the other hand, which was at a different booth, was very tempting. It was $25, which I thought wasn't too bad. And it was in great condition and so cute, but I didn't get it. This is the same booth that the bag was at and they have a really beautiful curation of vintage uh, silk slips and just like old lingerie. Look at all these gorgeous colors together. They had really unique pieces. So I was really into this one right here. It's like a popsicle cream orange and it was beautiful. I would have purchased that if I hadn't have run out of cash. It was only $8, you guys. I definitely wish I would have grabbed that one, but most of the places here accept cash and not Venmo. And this was one of the places that I didn't think accepted Venmo. So I had to leave that orange baby behind, but this was such a nice booth. I did end up checking out this seller who also had a really nice curation and she was super sweet. She had some really, really neat pieces and not too expensive of prices. Like I would say mediocre prices. Look at this cute little like granny stitch square vest. I thought it was really fun. I don't see myself wearing it particularly, but it wasn't too expensive. It was 25 and then this was gorgeous. It was like a tapestry blanket coat. I actually kind of regret not getting that one just because it was so beautiful. She also had a fun purple, eggplant purple brown penny lane jacket. And then this next dress is what cottage core dreams are made of. So pretty. Uh, I don't think I could see myself wearing that, but beautiful for someone that does such a unique piece. Even this beautiful kimono, so many good things in this booth. Moving right along, I spotted cowboy boots. You guys know I love me some cowboy boots and look at these fun red ones. I love those. I don't know why I didn't ask the price on those because I would love to pick up a pair of red cowboy boots. But then I also saw these like mustard yellow ostrich ones and they actually have embroidered ostriches on them, which I thought was really fun and funky. Love that, but kind of regretting not checking out those red boots. This shirt was pretty funny. I don't know if you guys can see it, it says, uh, let me read your future. And then in the middle of the crystal ball, it says hobo. So it's like suggesting that you're gonna become a hobo, which I thought was hilarious. They do have a lot of furniture pieces. Some of them are quite pricey, but definitely unique and very uh, specialized furniture. If you guys are into that, you can find some good deals. So you just kind of have to dig around and sometimes people are selling the same stuff. So you also have to like kind of try to find the best booth. I almost got a huge disco ball and someone bought it right before me, which made me so sad because I've been looking to buy a big disco ball. This booth also had really beautiful rugs. I was really drawn to the colors in this one. It was kind of like warm tans and reds and oranges. I really liked that one and the lady was super friendly. These vintage chairs were super cool. They were like tall, really good condition. And then I also saw some little skateboards, which reminded me of Everett, which she was with me. I'm bringing him next time. And that was it, you guys. That was the whole day. All right, you guys, I just got back from the fair and into the car. I am sweaty. Oh my God, you guys. I think it's like 95 degrees right now. Whew. And I did end up getting two things I spent $35, I got a pair of Levi's for 15 and then I got a pair of vintage velvet, high-waisted, like wide leg 
blue pants. I will do both the try-ons when I get home or like later. I didn't try either of them on so I'm actually not sure if either of them fit but I feel like both of them were like a decent price so hopefully they fit okay. I am so hot. I'm gonna go get some lunch. I'm starving and then I will see you guys very soon for the try-on. I hope you guys ended up enjoying this. I want to come back here with Everett next time um, because I feel like he'd really like a lot of the stuff here. There's a lot of different types of things to look at here. There's furniture, there's old antiques, there's just like random stuff, there's clothing. Uh, it's a great mixture so if you're in the area I definitely would recommend coming and checking it out. So next time we'll bring Everett. I know you guys like seeing him on my channel. Um, all right you guys. I'll see you very soon when we get home. Bye. All right, guys. It's been a few days since I went to the Sacramento Antique Fair, and I figured I'd just show you guys the two pairs of bottoms that I ended up getting. First up, I found these super fun vintage... What color of blue would you say this is? Like robin egg blue? Or like just like a really pretty, like a powdery blue? Pair of wide leg, super high rise. They're not bell bottoms, but they are like a very wide leg. I paid $20 for these guys. Let's go try these guys on. All right, you guys, here's the outfit I came up with. I put on the pants. I love them. They fit really well as far as the waist goes and how high rise they are. The only problem is, is that they are very long on the foot ankle. I'm even wearing platforms and they're still too long. So I think I'm just gonna give them the chop and I think that a raw hem will still look pretty cute. As far as the rest of the outfit details go, I just put on this chunky houndstooth knit sweater and then just wanted to add a little bit more of like interesting details in my bag and scarf. So I put on this little Anne Daughtry. It's kind of like a fun 70s print scarf. And then added this cute little leather bag that I thrifted quite a while ago. And then for my shoes, I'm just wearing these little platforms. I wish they were a little bit deeper of a color brown, but I don't have one that's kind of like this cognac color. I do have a pair of loafers that's in this cognac color, but since the pants are too long, I need a platform. So I really love the color combination of this like warm caramely brown mixed in with the powdery blue and it paired together just how I wanted it to. And then this is the second pair of pants. I ended up getting some Levi's. So predictable and non-brand for me. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that these ones are vintage. I can't really tell what's going on with the tag because they are definitely very beat up and worn in and they do have the big uh, booty slit under the booty hole. They are high rise button front. I don't think I actually filmed the booth that I bought these at, but it's huge. It's very um, not organized or really curated. It's just like a ton of stuff everywhere. And so I feel like they have decent prices because they have so much and it's not really like stylized. It's just like random stuff, new, vintage, just like all the things, you know, it's almost like a, its own thrift store in itself. Um, so these ones were $15, which I felt like was pretty good. All right, guys, here is outfit number two with Olive. All right, you guys, here's outfit number two with the Levi's. Uh, sorry, they're a bit wrinkly. I actually held them in the dryer and then I threw them in the corner of my room and they got wrinkly again. So my bad, my bad. So for styling, I did end up throwing it with this really fun thrifted Harley Davidson. Sorry if you guys can hear ever getting a popsicle out of the so freezer. You know it's popsicle excavation I've ever had. As soon as I asked Everett to be quiet for my filming, he decides to eat popsicles. Okay. <laughs> when more than one person works at home, you guys know, I'm sure, from 2020, from COVID. Okay. So for my top, I ended up putting it with this Harley Davidson thermal. This is actually the back of the shirt, but I liked the back way more than the front. The front, I don't know, it's like weird. It's not as cute. It has like some girl on it. I'm not into that graphic, but I loved the back graphic. So I actually just wear it backwards, you guys. Um, it is pretty high, which does make it pretty high on the neck right here. I am tempted to actually just like cut it right there so that it's not so high on the neck. The back graphic is so much cooler than the front one. So I did just tie it up in a little knot. Here's the Levi's. Like I said, they have the under the butt rip, which I personally really like, but I feel like there's a time and place to wear this. Like I probably wouldn't wear it 
just anywhere and I was thinking about possibly sewing it a little bit more closed. I know that this probably won't be for everyone but I just thought it was like a fun vintage kind of like carefree look to the Levi's and I don't have any Levi's that have that butt rip. I know that most of you guys probably won't like it and if you don't that's fine. You don't have to wear Levi's with a butt rip if you don't like it. <laughs> I just thought it was cute. My mom will probably yell at me if she sees me wearing these. <laughs> Um, and then I also ended up just putting it with my new Skechers boots that you guys saw me get in my last video. They just have the like gristly rubber chunky boot sole that I love so much. I really like this outfit for fall and I probably will end up wearing it at some point. I've seen some of the other thrifters that thrift at like Rose Bowl and all of the LA flea markets and oh my gosh, they pay so much money for stuff compared to our flea market, so. $15 was right on the mark for me. All right, you guys, I hope you ended up enjoying coming with me to the antique fair. I had so much fun. It was nice to just get out, enjoy the sunshine, check out the different vendors, go shopping. Next time I am definitely going to one, pack a lunch, and number two, bring more cash. I thought more of the vendors would be taking Venmo, but they definitely liked cash and not all of them took Venmo. So I will be doing that better next time. But yeah, I do plan on going back and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if so, I'll make a video next time I go. All right, you guys, love you so much. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye.